Hello, hi heads, it's Frankie Boy here, and welcome to The Frank Show. Now we have some amazing news for you today. I think that the PlayStation VR selling game is finally here. I mean, finally here. I mean, next week. I mean, right around the corner. I mean, this thing is is coming out of nowhere, out of out of the, out of the sky like a gift from some VR god and. And I think it's going to revolutionize virtual reality gaming. I think it's going to change the PlayStation VR landscape. I think it's going to bring us tons and tons and tons of new community members. And the game that I'm talking about is called Conrad the Friggin' Kitten. Now, Frankie, you may be saying, hey, well, you just wasted my time. You just clickbaited me with a title because you just, yeah, you're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding you. Now, and, and, and I maybe you may, may be thinking to yourself, I don't want anything called Comrade the Kitten. And you may be saying to yourself, hey, you know, oh, you're probably right. But there are a lot of 12 to 14 to 15 year olds out there that are going to love Conrad the Kitten. Now, what is it? You may ask yourself, well, it's coming to us February 23rd, and if you have a move controller, and you have a stuffed animal, and you have rubber bands, you now have the most amazing thing to any child in the entire world. You put, I'm sure by now you can figure out what the hell you got to do with it. You put them all together, and you have a virtual reality pet. So you're going to be able to pet it, and you, you, you'll see it like it's in VR, like it's, you got a damn cat in your hand, but really all you have is a stuffed animal with a move control tape, a, a, a rubber band in the back. Now, you may be saying to yourself, frankly, nobody's going to buy this. And you know what? You've you got to be telling me you, that's BS because anybody with a kid is maybe 12 or 13 that you tell could have a – any dad that you're like, oh, my, my kid can have a pet by all they need is a, is a stuffed animal, boom, you got them sold. If they have a PSVR, that thing's going to be sold. That kid's going to be playing with it. Honestly, they're probably going to try it out. Now, this is a, this is con uh, probably one of the coolest things that I've they've used the move controller for. I mean, this is smart, you guys. This is this is this is stupid. I know to a certain degree. I mean, it's not stupid. It's smart, stupid. But but uh, think of the, the think of the the future for this. So we actually now we just people could just take the move controller and start putting it on stuff, and we can start using that kind of stuff in game. Now, yes, yeah, the stuff animal is probably a silly start but that's a start and and no i don't know what the next big thing could be for it but there could be anything you know what i mean they could put it on a ball and you could feel like you're playing like a baseball we could they could just use the move controller like trackers to a certain degree and i don't know how many games are going to take advantage of this and what the perfect game is for it but it's somewhere out there in somebody's mind and and now with this technology coming out there's a chance that they could be getting there closer but i i've ranted long enough and wasted enough of your time we do honestly have something very cool and very revolutionary and very awesome coming our way that most of us really are going to care about and it is a true 5v5 well 4v4 vr soccer game from the beautiful people at cherry pop games now if you don't know cherry pop they had sports bar sports bar has gone through a, a lot of work and progress over the years and it has it's become something really awesome if you've not checked it out it's one of my favorite games i don't hop in as often as i can but that's because we get so many great titles coming our way but i digress now with this new game you can finally actually play 4v4 the goalies are going to be ai controlled to make it all fair i think and just to keep probably the mechanics simpler but you are going to be able to play soccer with your move controller so you'd be running with your move controllers they said there might be an easy button press or two but mostly you're going to be doing an upper workout move controllers and you be able to head the ball so if you want you can head it into the goal now i think this is going to be damn fun uh the issue is going to be getting the community people on but i i think people are so psyched for a soccer game that it's not going to be that hard to find players and it's only going to be eight players and i'm sure they'll have some ai to fill in space if they can't fill in spaces but i'm super excited cherry pop are some great people and they've always reached out to me so i'm sure we'll get more information as it comes on and they're going to have offline modes for training but this looks awesome i cannot wait to play this title and you want to know the the, the 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 biggest treat of it all? February twenty seventh, right around the corner. You don't have to wait. They're not just teasing you with something. This baby is coming right away. Now, finally. Finally, some even cooler news, kind of, maybe even in all of that, if this is what you are into, because those might not have been tickety fancy at all. I might have pissed you off at the beginning, and then I got you excited again for just a soccer game. I mean, come on, a soccer game. <laughs> But now, now, I, if you don't like those two, you're going to like this third bit of information. Now, in Japan right now, and I'm sad to say that it's just Japan, but they got an awesome Valentine's Day gift from Sony. And you may be saying, Frankie, what did, what did they get for Valentine's Day? What's Sony going to do for them? They let 
a thousand people, I think just a thousand, check out a new 3D movie in a beta testing for a brand new app they got coming out called Theater Room VR. Now, in this, you're in a room, in like you guess, in a theater room, and they say that they want to expand it in the future to include more applications and special movies. They're getting to watch this Red Planet CGI 3D film, and, and it feels like you're in just a giant space. Now, they said you're not going to be able to move around in this space. It's more going to be stationary, but you can pull your move you dual shock four in there control it and it feels like you have a giant screen and you're just in your own little spot now i know we're going to probably have a host of those kind of apps in the future but hey, you never know a playstation you never know exactly what they're going to do and they do have it attached to sony pictures so we sh could see a lot of cool stuff coming that way i don't know what if one day they let us just see movies there instead of going to the theater for some people to have it that could be pretty awesome because they do have a lot of movies that come out now i don't know what they're going to use it for i don't know how long until we're going to see that this is for Japan. If you do have a Japanese account, you're over there. You got a PlayStation VR. You can sign up until the 20th. Please just check out the Japanese PlayStation blog. Uh, it's like yesterday's post or something. You just click there, sign up. That's all you got to do. And I'll pick from a winner. I think you got like six, seven days to sign up. But, um, uh, but thank you guys for coming through. That's all I news. That's some pretty good, awesome, action-packed news. You beautiful, most amazing people in the world. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. But if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe. I mean, come on, nah. <laughs> Smooches. <laughs>